Welcome to the Beyond Leadership Podcast, where we host outstanding individuals and we discover new dimensions of leadership and their talents and recipes for success. This is our 16th audio tip of the week. Some fun facts about number 16. In biology, if a cell divides itself in half every 30 minutes, you will have 16 cells in 2 hours. 16 pieces are used by each player in a game of chess. The human eye can see continuous motion at around 16 frames per second. And when I was 16, we got our first computer at home. Yay! Today's tip of the week is based on the article, Are You Really Listening? Written by Bryant and Scherer, published in March, April's Magazine in 2021 in Harvard Business Review. Learn to listen more effectively. You won't find a curse on listening at many business schools, but it's an essential skill for leaders if they hope to counteract the multiple forces that can lure them into believing they know everything they need to know about what's happening in their organizations. At the core of the challenge is a paradox in the life of a senior leaders, particularly CEOs. They generally have access to more lines of communication than anybody else has, but the information that flows to them is suspect and compromised. Executives often trap themselves in information bubbles, a result of their overconfidence and outdated ideas about leadership. Here are seven useful tips for learning to listen more effectively. Tip number one, protect against blind spots. Kelly Greer, the U.S. Chair and Managing Partner and America's Managing Partner at Ernst & Young, has long made a habit of telling the people on her team that they need to keep her informed. As she puts it, if you haven't created a culture or an environment where people feel free to challenge you as the leader, you're in a very perilous place because you will have blind spots. Tip number two de-emphasize hierarchy. When Mark Templeton was the president and CEO of Citrix from 2001 to 2015, he adopted a mantra to ensure that his employees wouldn't be intimidated by titles or rank. Tip number three, give permission to share bad news. When Penny Pritzker, who served as the US Secretary of Commerce from 2013 to 2017, first met with job candidates, she would have a blunt conversation about the dangers of not sharing problems with her. She would tell them, if you want to get fired, here's what you need to do. First, lie, cheat, or steal. The other thing that will get you fired is if you have a problem and you keep it to yourself. Tip number four, create an early warning system. As the CEO of Air Technologies, Anand Chisdebaker, asks his team to follow a simple rule. If you have bad news, text me. If you have good news, share it with me in person. If you get bad news early, you can react faster. And the reaction time is precious. Tip number five. To encourage problem solving, acknowledge progress. When Paul Kunwert, a managing director of British Sugar, meets with groups of employees, he will sometimes ask them about the things they accomplished during the previous five years that they are really proud of. Now imagine we're together five years from now. What are we proud of now? What would you really love to have achieved or the business to have changed? Tip number six, listen without judgment or an agenda. Joel Peterson, the former chairman of JetBlue Airways, and the founder of Peterson's Partners, says that senior executives may find it challenging to remain fully present in meetings when they have 10 things on their minds at any given moment. Leaders can help themselves avoid that change by reminding themselves of a simple acronym whenever they're listening. WAIT, which stands for Why Am I Talking? Tip number seven. Actively seek input. It's not enough just to emphasize that people should speak up. You also have to invest time and energy 
in walking the halls, traveling to manufacturing plants and stores, holding regular town halls, and meeting with smaller groups from various departments and ranks. What is your recipe for listening more? Do you ever catch yourself not being present? This was this week's tip of the week. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on all podcast channels like Spotify, Apple, Google, Castbox, and also follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. Till next time.